If the UCC was really as open and affirming as it claims to be, then there would be trans people of color in every UCC church. But that would also require the UCC to reckon with its white supremacy culture. 90% of the UCC is white. And if you look a little deep into the history, you will see that the UCC has its roots in American colonialism. Looking at the congregational churches and looking at this one right here too, just being honest. I am sick and tired of the BS. I am sick of the dishonesty. I am tired of the lies. We are on the growing edge, my friends, and that means that there will be more drag preachers. Amen? There is no doubt in my mind that with all of these anti-trans and anti-drag bills going on in the country, that Mary Magdalene would have been an ally if she was not queer herself. To witness our queer and trans siblings suffer at the hands of hateful politicians and the mob mentality of conservatives would be an all too familiar narrative. They want to crucify trans people and drag queens. When they say they want to eradicate us, that doesn't mean conversion therapy. As if that's not horrifying enough. So if Mary Magdalene was truly the successor of Jesus, and if she was around today, I believe that she'd be getting the disciples on a bus, footing the bill, and getting a payment from uh, Joanna and Susanna on Bible pay. She says to the apostles, we're going to the drag bar. And Joanna's dragging Peter by the ear, and he doesn't want to go because he's still a little bit homophobic. <laughs> Mary Magdalene's at the ATM getting cash to give to all of the disciples so that they can tip the queens while they're performing. She's handing out 20s and 50s and 100s and saying, give this to the performers. Jesus ate with sinners and tax collectors, so we're going to eat here at this drag bar with queer and trans people. They're dancing and they're smiling and they're a little bit drunk and they are witness to the pureness of queer joy. Mary Magdalene says to the owner, so um, we rented this donkey <laughs> and um, we're gonna ride it into Nashville tomorrow at the Tennessee State Capitol. Do y'all wanna come? <laughs> so they gather on the outskirts of town and they start marching in and they're shouting, Hosanna in the highest, drag is not a crime. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. 